Hey everybody, Stephen here, and today I have an unboxing video for a new soundbar from a company, and hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, Fianu. To me, it reminds me of like Keanu Reeves, like Keanu, 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 but Fianu. Um, and with this, they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try this out. I actually have a soundbar, it's an old Vizio. But with this, it comes with the subwoofer, and I don't have one of those. So it's the 2.1 channel here. I'm actually excited to check this out and to see what the sound difference is going to be between mine, which I think this one's like 120 watts and mine's like, I think it's 100. So I think the sound quality is going to be better. Hopefully with that uh, subwoofer there, it's going to be a lot better as well. They do have instructions right here on how to actually open this. So we're going to try to do this properly here. Seems like you open up the top, and then this opens, and then we're supposed to push everything through. So let's get this out. There we go. Okay. Get this cut at the bottom here. So I'm usually in front of my computer, but I'm not going to be putting this on the computer. This will be on the 4K TV downstairs with the Xbox One X here. You know what we're going to do here? We're going to tilt this to the side. Make this easier. There we go. All right. So, we're going to open this up. There we go. And, ooh, I'm going to run into the fan here. Don't hit the fan. This thing is called. There we go. Holy smokes. So, yeah, this is 120 watts and it has a five and a quarter inch subwoofer. I like the fact that this is skinnier too, so it's not going to take up a lot of room wherever you're putting it, whether you're using this with your PC or just on your TV. All right. Nope, just rip into it. There it is. It looks like a mini tower, right? Like a mini PC tower. It looks really good. Very minimal. I like that. Solid packaging, so shouldn't be damaged when it comes to you. Price point that I saw on Amazon, and there will be a link for this in the description. Usually $179.99, discounted to $129.99, and I think right now they have like a $30 off coupon. This thing's $100 right now. There it is. And you can actually mount this, I believe, if you want to. Yep, we've got wall mounts for it built in right there. On the back, we have auxiliary plug-in, optical, HDMI to TV, and then our power. That looks to be it. Our box over here. Let's see. Get this open. Don't need to worry about that. Accessory box. Let's get you open up. Gloves. What? All right, I gotta look at the. Uh, I don't know, maybe to not get streaks on it. I'm gonna put these on right now, anyways. Just because I've never had a package send me gloves before for anything. All right, these look to be sticky deals. Foam pads. I'm assuming if it has to be caught up against something or on something. HDMI, optical, auxiliary. I use optical on my Vizio. I like the fact that it comes with that though, because I had to pay for the optical 
keep in mind this was five years ago so with that this was actually more expensive i paid like 150 200 for the sound bar and then i had to go turn around and spend like 20 25 for the optical i believe and then our uh, wall mounting it does come with the guide if you want it right there and that is solid build too i like that i hate when it's like flimsy paper and you just tear through it right there user manual so let's just talk about specs really quick uh, with this frequency response 500 or 500 45 hertz to um, 20 kilohertz signal signal to noise ratio 72 decibels um, impedance 4 ohms times 2 plus 6 ohms. I'm not 100% sure what that is. I'm not necessarily like an audiophile type person, but I do like good audio, just not to that degree. Input power, 110 volt to 240 volt, 50 hertz slash 60 hertz with this. Bluetooth version 5.0, range up to 10 meters. So typically with Bluetooth 5.0, you're looking anywhere from like 33 feet to 50 feet with this. Uh, Bluetooth frequency, 2402 megahertz to 2480 megahertz with this so we have that maybe this is like a static electricity thing i don't know if you guys know let me know in the comment section and then our remote here clean simple i'm assuming the battery is already in it we have that right there. Whoa, I'm about to slide out of my hands. There are no batteries in this. You're gonna need, it doesn't come with it. Doesn't look like it does. I'm gonna need two AAA batteries for this. Keep that in mind. All right, so let's get this thing all set up and uh, take a look at it and then actually play some games with this. I'll, I don't know if I'll upload me watching a movie or TV show. I'm worried that YouTube's not going to let me do that with this. So instead, let's play some games and just get the sound quality from that. And it should be really, really good with this. And then we'll kind of check for a second, maybe see how loud that potentially gets just in this space here. And typically, I'm sitting anywhere from 10 to like 15 feet away from the TV. So we'll kind of gauge it based off of that. So let's get this uh, thing set up and give it a look. All right, so I'm all set up here. Uh, setup was pretty painless. The only thing I ran into is that the optical input, or the optical cord here, uh, it actually has these kind of covers to it and I wasn't paying attention. I removed the Vizio one because I wanted to make sure I was using theirs and just wasn't paying attention. I was trying to put it in. I was like, why won't this work? You have to take these caps off. So very subtle thing to change with that. Once I figured that out, it was quick and easy. Um, I want to cover a handful of things with this though. Uh, so these pads, yes, this is for when you're wall mounting this. This actually goes on a little groove in the back and then that way it's not resting directly on the wall. It's not going to damage your wall. It has this pad. I like that touch. Also, the gloves. Once I finally started kind of moving this around and noticing, and I didn't have the gloves on, I noticed like, oh, your oily hands are putting fingerprints all over this. Thus, the gloves. Once I did that, and you can actually use them if you want to, to kind of wipe this down also without even just fully putting them on. But I do like that touch. I'm keeping these for sure. So we have that. Uh, and then beyond that, once this was all set up, um, the remote, easy to use. I like this. It actually fits better with my TCL remote also. That was another thing that uh, the Vizio just aesthetically, I know it's a subtle thing, but it's like silver, and this one just pairs very well with my Roku one here, my TCL one. So I like the remote, put the batteries in it. I actually, after that, tried uh, Bluetooth. So on this, we have input, uh, you have the HDMI, you have the auxiliary, uh, you have optical, which is what it's on right now, OP, and then you have Bluetooth. Bluetooth pairing, hold down the pair button on this. It'll pull up as P27 on your phone, and then you're good to go. In terms of sound quality with music specifically, uh, it gets very loud. Um, my living room in here, and this is a vaulted ceiling. This is, ooh, I don't even know. This has got to be 
over 20 something foot in here. Um, it reverbs in here. I mean, it puts out sound very, very well with this. So I don't have any uh, problems with the volume level. I mean, it gets plenty loud for me. Once I switched over to Netflix and playing some games, it still gets incredibly loud. It doesn't seem quite as loud with that. I don't know if that has something to do with like music versus that. Plus in this, I actually get to, um, I don't know if it's, it's me changing the volume in Spotify and this at the same time. I don't know what it is, but it seemed a little bit louder than the movies. But like I said, it is plenty loud, especially if you have, um, if you're living in a condo or an apartment or a medium-sized home, uh, our home is 2,000 square foot here. Like this is plenty. I could see it if you had a very, very big living room and house. Maybe it's not quite as much power as you would like. But I, I at that point, I mean, if, if you're doing that, like you're probably buying those crazy thousand dollar systems. So with this, plenty that you're getting out of this. Looking at the real remote beyond that, uh, we're gonna have power mute. We have the input and pair, um, volume up and down, uh, skip forward on the track, pause, play. Beyond that, our EQ settings are built into this. We have music, news, movie, 3D. 3D being it's going to try to like emulate surround sound with this. Uh, then we have the EQ settings that you can tweak beyond that. You have treble, um, plus and minus, bass, plus and minus. So you can increase that up to five on both of those. And with this, in terms of the sound quality, movie and music have a good bass to it. News seems to be more treble. 3D is unique. I'm sitting, and I mentioned about 10 to 15 feet away from this. I think when you're in a very good spot with 3D, it does hit that surround sound sweet spot. If you're off, it's gonna sound off, in my opinion with that. Interesting playing games to try to figure out what setting I like because I've switched between all of them. Music and movie, very, very good. And then I kind of switch to 3D every now and then just to see what it sounds like. And I'll do a showcase of that here in a second. Um, watching TV shows on Netflix, movies seems to be pretty good. Can I can kind of tinker back to music with that. Uh, I don't know how often I'll do the news version of it. And then you have your own presets on top of that that you can do if you want, like I said, increasing the bass or the treble within that. So EQs are actually pretty good. You definitely can hear the difference between all of them as well, which I, I like the fact that that's the case because I've gotten other products before where you're dealing with EQ and it has EQ settings like these all sound the same to me. That is definitely not the case with this. So we have plenty of sound with this. The subwoofer fits very, very good on the side over there. I like the slim form factor with this. So uh, that's not gonna be an issue in terms of size. It's not taking up a lot of space. You don't have to worry about that. So size, this is a little bit smaller than the Vizio that I had also. So this is about six inches shorter than that. But in terms of the, the kind of other dimensions, it's about the same. So it fits very, very well with our setup. I also like the look with this. It just fits better with the setup that we have here in the house. And I do like this here where the Vizio had kind of bars on the side. I like this in the middle and it'll give you a number with this instead of just these little dots on the side. This goes up to 32 for the volume as well if you're actually wanting to just increase that. I know as we kind of play Kate towards the teens with this and then maybe low 20s, like 32 is pretty loud at that max volume setting. So not something that you're necessarily going to keep that on. And like I said, if you're in a close space, if you have an apartment or something like that, you're definitely not hitting that 32. It's gonna be way too loud. You're gonna have your neighbors really, really upset with you. So what I wanna do from here, like I said, I can't really showcase music or movies or anything like that because what's gonna happen is YouTube's gonna to try to um, do a copyright claim against me on the channel and I don't want that. So instead, I'm gonna play some video games and we're gonna look at just the sound with that and then um, I'll wrap everything up. And in terms of the sound, looking at specifically like weapons and how they sound with that. So you can kind of get a picture of that. And then you'll hear kind of music and sound in the background as well that uh, hopefully that gives you an idea. And I'm gonna cycle through this. And as I do, I'm gonna cycle through the music, 
the, the movies, the, the news, and then the 3D, I'll make sure that that pops up at the bottom so you know what is what, so you can actually tell the difference with that as well. So let's go ahead and click over to that. The light is green. All right, so that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully that helps you just kind of gain a small glimpse into what this actually sounds like when it's playing. That's also gonna be dependent upon what you're playing this video on. Are you playing it on your phone? Are you playing it through another sound bar or little speakers on your PC? That's also gonna impact it. But I can tell you that in person, this sounds really, really good. The price point I mentioned before, going from 179 typically down to 129, and then maybe you find a discount that may fluctuate and change, even though I'm saying, hey, it has a code right now that may change in the future. But even at $130, do I think this is worth it? Absolutely. The sound quality is on point. I love the subwoofer and it has a rich, deep bass to it. And I like the different EQ settings that they have built into this. Plus other things that you can tweak, because I mean, you can tweak the treble and the bass if you want as well to your liking. But I am very, very pleased with this. I think it looks very slick with my setup as well. So there's going to be a link for this in the description if you want to pick this up. If there's any questions, maybe I didn't cover something directly in this video, let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.